Welcome everyone to my fourth and final video in this Subnautica tip series. In my previous videos, we looked at our vehicles, the Seamoth, Pronsu, and the Cyclops. All three have upgrades you can build and use to enhance them, but we still have one more component in the game that features the same upgrade mechanic. That's right, today we are taking a good look at the scanner room. Warning. There may be some spoilers in this, so feel free to check out some of my other Subnautica content if you're wanting to avoid any spoilers. The Scanner Room is our special science station styled module of the sea base. This room is built to map out the terrain around you and scan the environment for useful resources. On one wall you will have a control panel for the camera drones as well as a selector for resources available nearby. Selecting a specific resource will cause the holographic display in the center of the room to mark these as red dots. By default, the scanner room has a base scanning range of 300 meters. It comes equipped with two camera drones that you can take control of from the panel on the wall. You can use the drones to move around the surrounding environment and map the terrain. Drones will appear as green dots on the central holographic display. While technically the drones have infinite range, their connection to the scanner room is limited and the video signal will begin to blur around 300 meters away before going dark at around 600 meters. When you have a resource selected for scanning, the drones will allow you to see where that specific resource is within the scanning range of the room. Drones also have health and power meters, so the more extensively you use them, the more you'll need to pay attention to these. To redock a drone with the scanner room, you will have to dock it in one of the open drone spots. While the scanner room comes with the two camera drones by default and only two drone docking spots, it does not appear to have a limit on how many drones it can control. I tested with 257 drones expecting that it would stop working after 256 but found that it still works. When I tried spawning in 300 drones, my game froze but I blame that more on the collisions between the drones rather than the number itself. It is also important to note that stalkers with their affinity for shiny metal will steal your camera drones to play with them. The scanner room has four upgrade slots and has its own special fabricator for creating these upgrade modules. First up, let's take a look at the scanner room range upgrade. This module, of course, increases the scanning range of the room up from the default of 300 meters. This module will stack with each one adding 50 meters to your scanning range for up to a maximum of 500 meters. While there are many places around the map that you will be able to find a large number of resources with the scanner room, the range limit of 500 meters means there is no single place on the map that can cover all biomes. This upgrade only affects the scanning range of the room itself and has no effect on the camera drones. In my testing and my own personal experience, it seems that the more range you add to the scanner room, the longer it takes for resource scans to complete. Second, we have the scanner room speed upgrade. When you select a resource for the scanner room to search for, it will take around 14 seconds by default to fully scan the area. Adding a scanner room speed upgrade will decrease that time by 3 seconds for each speed upgrade installed. This means with 4 speed upgrades it will only take 2 seconds for a full scan to complete. While this may sound great, it seems to be much less effective than using the range upgrades instead and having a little bit of patience. Our last upgrade module, the heads up display upgrade, allows you to see where the scanner has marked resources in the same way you would see a signal marker on your heads up display. This can make gathering resources much easier as you will be able to see the markers of where a specific resource is while you are away from your base. This upgrade module is also applied to your person rather than to the scanner room itself. So that is it for the upgrades to the scanner room. While it has four upgrade slots, there are only the two upgrades that utilize the slots. This means you simply have to choose between more range, more scanning speed, or a mixture of both. Personally, I recommend at least two range upgrades minimum, with the other two slots being a personal preference of speed or range. If you are an impatient person, go for scanning speed, otherwise the range upgrades will fare you better. Well that is it for today's video on the scanner room. 
If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that like button. Also, make sure you subscribe and leave me a comment below. Well, as always, I'm your host, Mr. Spicy. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Be sure to keep it spicy this week, and I will see you in the next video.